Today I'm creating another look using Natasha Denona's Hypernatural Face Palette. But before we get into that, I'm going to cleanse my face with the Olivio Cleanser. Now this one is 100% cold pressed hemp seed oil. It is beautiful, beautiful. smells a little bit nutty, um, really, really nice. And I'm just wiping that off with one of my makeup remover pads and just really cleansing my skin. Going in with the Olivio Hemp Natural Oil. This is their Facial Hydrator Serum and it is beautiful. Really nice to start off your makeup application by doing a great skin care and a great cleanse routine. This oil is beautiful and as you can see, I'm just massaging that into the skin and really helping it come alive. So just making sure that that really settles in before I go in with their day cream. Now as you can see, the day cream is nice and thick. So I really like this. I love the consistency of it. And I'm just really massaging that down my neck and decolletage and all over my face. So this is a really beautiful nourishing day cream. So just massaging that in. Now again, between all of these layers, I'm making sure that it settles in. Hard for me because I get a little bit impatient and I want to get on to the next product. This is one of the Youngblood primers. This is their CC Correcting Primer in Bear. I'm using this because it will help with that excess oil and mattify the face a little bit. Going in with some full coverage today, I'm using the Revlon, Revlon sorry, Color Stay, and this is in a matte shade. It's 310, so it also has an SPF of 10, so that's really good. And as you can see, I've started down the side on my jawline, really just to give myself an idea of the sort of coverage that I'm after, and also to see how quickly I can sort of cover up my pigmentation and a little bit of that redness through my cheeks there. So this is a really good shade for me, and it is a full coverage, so not something I would use on the daily because I do like a more natural look. But today, I'm thinking with this face palette, we may go in for more of a smoky look. Um, I feel it may be more of a cool smoky eye, so let's see how we go. I'm placing this over my eyelids as well, and I'm just using one of the Morphe Ariel brushes, foundation brushes. Combing through my brows before we go in with the Rumi Cosmetics Power Brow. I find this is one of the easiest products to use, which is why I keep grabbing it. Um, a very nice small spoolie wand, and I'm just sweeping that through the brow, adding some color. I can see where I need to do a little bit of tidying of my brows. So there's a few hairs there that need plucking. I will get to them. And once I've run the color through, I go back through with my clean spoolie wand and just brush it through to make it look more natural. Beginning the eye prep with the MAC Paint Pot. This is called Painterly, one of my favorite eye primes. Um, it just creates such a great base for the eyeshadow to adhere to and just creates a really nice long lasting look. So I place this with my finger all the way from the lash line right up to underneath my brow. Now, with the Natasha Denona palette, there are a couple of contour shades. Now, I'm using the lightest one, and as you can see, I possibly could go a little bit darker. So I am going in a couple of times with the shade and just sweeping it through the crease back and forth and really over that brow bone a little bit to create some lift. So just using some windshield wiper movements and sweeping it back and forth and really up over that brow bone just to create a little bit of shape with the eye before I head in with the other products. Now I'm going to start with the darkest product first. This is the Rumi Cosmetics Black Eyeliner Pencil. Really lovely and I'm using this just to create a really nice eyeline, little baby wing there, using my finger to drag that out and I'm really pushing it right into that lash line. So don't worry if you make a little bit of a mistake that I did, like I did there. Just use your little brush and you're gonna sweep and you're gonna just really blend that out so it's just nice and soft. So just really smudge that out so it's nice and soft and that will just create a nice little sort of base for the products to go on. And I did put a little bit on the top of the, um, the tight line there as well. So once again, on the other eye, just sweeping it out, creating a slight wing there. This just helps to lift up the eyes. And this is just starting the base for this cool smoky that we're gonna go in with. And then I'm blending it through with a smaller brush just to smudge out those edges. Now the next thing I'm going to go in with is the, this is called Casual. So it's like a metallic silver or charcoal shade. These are gorgeous. They, even though they're shimmery, they go on really creamy and there's no fallout. So I feel like I go in cautious, but then realize there's no fallout with these products. They're not going to go underneath the eye. So once again, just placing that into, be careful not to get it into the inner corner, placing that 
in on the mobile eye sorry on the ball of the eye and all the way through just up into that crease there and I'm putting a small amount just underneath that outer quarter of the eye as well and following a little bit of that wing so that's the basis of our makeup I'm just cleaning my brush off there I'm going in with the, the medium shade in that bronze and contour and I'm just really carving out that crease and this will just really help that color um, sort of stand out a little bit more and also just blend it through so it's nice and soft there's a nice transition there between that sort of charcoal gray and that um, nice contour shade so it's blending it back and forth using a nice fluffy brush this is the dreamy this is like a bit more of a highlighter shade and i'm placing that just right in the little inner corner there just to really make those eyes pop and bring out bring them out just that little bit more small amount underneath as well now I'm just buffing that edges off again with that fluffy brush so there is a lot of buffing back and forth just to make sure that the eyeshadow does look seamless. This is a little bit of the MAC Studio Fix concealer and I'm just placing it up under the brows because I feel the brows are getting a little bit lost and I really wanted to highlight them a bit more so just up under the brows on that brow bone and slightly underneath the brow there and I will place a small amount just on the inner corner as well just to make sure that there's no dark um, darkness in there and then once again buffing that out with that little fluffy brush and I'm going down the nose as well to just emphasize a little bit of that contour. I've decided to take some of the blush. Now there's two blush shades in here, a really light baby pink and a sort of darker pink as well. I'm using the lighter pink first just to see if that sort of creates any color. It didn't create as much as I thought. So now I'm going in with a slightly darker or a mix of the two. This is what's great about this is you can mix the two shades. This is the White Night Mascara by Pony Cosmetics. Absolutely forgot how much I love this mascara. It has two sort of wands. One's your volume and then you go in with the lengthening. So this is the volume and then we go in with the lengthening. This is the volume and you're placing it on. It just creates um, quite a volume to your lashes and then you sort of go in and you lengthen it through. So it's a tubular mascara and it lasts for ages. So I do like this mascara. It really helps to open up those eyes. Now before we go any further with the um, face makeup, I'm going to clean up under the eyes. This is an eye cream, this is Youngblood's eye cream. I'm just using a Q-tip, we're just slowly placing that under the eye and cleaning up that outer wing. And you can see on the Q-tip that there is some product there. So this just helps to really tidy up your makeup and sharpen up the under eye area. And then I'll go in with some of that Studio Fix. Um, oh sorry, before I do that, I'm actually using just a little bit more of that eyeliner by Rumi Cosmetics just to define those eyes a bit more. Now I'll go in with the Studio Fix Concealer and just place it ever so gently on that inner corner and really sharpen up that outer edge. I will use a little beauty blender to blend out this product just so it blends seamlessly into that Revlon foundation. And same on the other side, just really highlighting that inner corner and cleaning up that outer edge. It's just such a great trick to go in and do this so then you're not trying to wipe product off foundation. Now with the lips I've decided to try and make them a little bit bigger so I've gone in with a lip pencil by Youngblood this is called Au Naturel so it's more of a sort of brown sort of contoury shade. I'm going in the center of my lip at the top and the bottom to really sort of make them a little bit more exaggerated. I don't tend to exaggerate any more of the lip just the middle areas top and bottom and then just line it. I'm diffusing it with a little bit of that contour shade from the face palette just around the outside. Now lips can be tricky and you really have to play a little bit to get this right. So you can see that I am going back and forth. I'm using a bit more highlighter above the cupid's bow. Going in with the St. Renee's lipstick. This is the Lip and Cheek tint and it's called Genoa. So I thought a lovely pinky tinge would look really nice and complement these cool smoky eyes. So just going in and you can see that that has really exaggerated the lips. Once I've placed it on, I do go in with the lipstick and just place a bit more, just tidying up that edge. Now, I'm using the same lipstick or cheek tint for my cheeks. Now, the two finger rule is a great way to get your blush nice and high. So as we mature, it's really nice to have the blush quite high on the face. It creates the illusion of lift. And I'm placing a little bit on the nose there too. Now we're going with the contour shades. I swiped through all three just to really carve out the shape of your face. And as you can see, it really has made quite a difference. Now, if you find like I've done on the other side there, there's a little bit too much of that bronzer or contour, 
I'll go in again with my uh, foundation brush and just really, there we are, and just sort of sweep that out a little bit. So don't stress if you're doing that. Going in with the blush in the face palette as well and just going over the blush that we used before. And as you can see, I'm actually placing it up and into the brow bone there as well, just to really create that nice flush of color. So up into that brow bone with that nice pale pink, just really makes everything sort of work in together. This is a translucent powder by Youngblood and I'm just trying to snatch in the face a little bit and set these areas. And as you can see, it instantly creates lift. Then I'll go in with a bigger brush and just sweep that through and it just looks really soft and seamless and creates that all over soft look. 